So with all this development in AI and all these interesting projects people are pursuing, I thought, hmm, since ChatGPT is out, ChatGPT, <laughs> sorry, I said that wrong. ChatGPT is out and there's not really any voice assistants yet covering it. There's the Google Assistant, there's the Amazon Echo. I'm not sponsored by either of them, by the way. I'm poor as fuck. I don't, I don't get sponsors from big companies like that. So not sponsored by them, but basically I thought it would be neat to sort of make my own assistant. And instead of having it on the computer, I'd make a little, little small thing like that big. As a matter of fact, it's right here on my desk. Um, so I threw this together. Basically all it is, is I utilize the new chat GPT API and I just made a pipeline that connects uh, speech to text. So it recognizes what you say, puts it into a text form and then sends a request to open AI, processes it, uh, gets a text output. And then we just put that back into speech and play it through the speaker. So that's it. You just have a mic, you connect your mic, you connect your, your keyboard and your mouse to this thing. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the setup here right now. It's a little bit messy, but this is what I have. So it looks really confusing at first because there's a lot of wires everywhere, but really it's not that bad. I just have this, this right here is my HDMI to, here, let me move this closer. This HDMI is just for my screen so I can see like what I'm coding and all that, what I'm pasting into my uh, code and my terminal. This is power. And I did learn a valuable lesson about power. You can't use shitty power supplies or cables because the low voltage ones don't actually get this one into the operating system. Once you're into the operating system, you actually need voltage to continue running tasks and manage memory. So you need to have something that's like at least five volts or higher. So I borrowed this from another one of my uh, little gadgets in my room here, just some random cable and it works. So make sure you don't use a shitty cable for power or else this thing won't work. Um, I have in my mouse, my keyboard, uh, I have an audio jack for the speakers and yeah, a little webcam for my, for my mic here. I just use a webcam mic because it seems to pick up on that just fine. And yeah, all I have is a piece of code that I just run on this thing and it'll play stuff back to me. So here's an example of it right here. I'm just going to run the code. By the way, it's called piece of shit. So I say POS and then it picks up on that as piece of shit. So kind of funny thing there with the wake word. Hey, POS. Yeah. How was your day? Hey, POS. Ahoy there, Captain Elliot. How was your day? How was your day? As an AI language model, I don't have emotions or experiences like humans do, so I don't have good or bad days. However, I'm always ready to assist and respond to your inquiries. How can I help you today? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's basically what it does, and it just plays that on repeat. Uh, it's always listening for a POS. Um, obviously, it can't be perfect with the whole recognition thing. Uh, it's not a perfect mic. I don't have perfect specs or anything. So obviously, it's not going to be perfect every time for something that you're just kind of experimenting with. But in general, it does work pretty well. Uh, and yeah, it, it responds in a funny voice. You give it little nice greetings to respond with. Um, so yeah, that's that. I have that. actually have the code in... Uh, the GitHub repo in the description, actually. So if you want to check that out and set up your own Raspberry Pi with all these specs and make your own assistant, that's totally cool. Um, but yeah, this is this is kind of what I've been pursuing for a little bit, and I hope to just have it on the on the side over here, ask it questions like a Google Assistant, except instead of it saying, "I got the source from here," and then it tells you about the source, you say like your Hey Google thing or whatever, or what the, whatever the Amazon thing is. Hey Echo, I I don't know what it is, but a little wake word, and it'll say yeah, and then you ask your question, and then it'll give you resources 
from a different website that came from the Google search engine, which I don't actually like that much because it doesn't take like an average of all the information and simplify it for you. And it doesn't take very, very specific requests. It's just a little speech recognizer, puts it into the engine and then processes it a different way than if you were to type it. It's like slightly different than that. And this is precisely why I like ChatGPT is because you don't have to dig through the internet. It just kind of does all that for you. It's trained on like 570 gigabytes of data, at least. At least that's what I saw in the uh, OpenAI docs. I don't know. I found that somewhere. It was 570 gigabytes or something of text data, which is actually a lot. Um, and yeah, it just it just trains on that. And it responds with answers that are very easy to understand. And the answers usually aren't any longer than like two paragraphs, unless you're asking a really complex question or asking it to write an essay for you. But yeah, there's all sorts of features you could put into this. You can make an app and Whenever you ask it for code questions, you would look for the little uh, the grave quotation marks around it, the three quotation marks, and you'd see, okay, this is a, this is a piece of code. We're going to take this and just throw that in my Discord server or my app or whatever it is. So you could do a bunch of stuff like that. There's many ways that you could use the chat GPT API and make tools out of it. But this was this is what I decided to do. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. As I said before, all of the code and the setup process is in the GitHub repo below. I used Python version 3.9.2 to set this up, uh, just in case you're wondering. It works with, I've tested it on 3.88 and 3.92. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's basically the end of the video. Thanks for watching.